Ever wonder what it'd be like to play baseball on a different planet? Because this is basically baseball on a different planet. What with the crazy gravity and the, the, the crazy names. I mean, scabies. Like, you, you wouldn't expect scabies to have that kind of raw power. That's a thing. Scabies may not be human. And this may not be Earth. It's Ken Griffey Jr. Or is it? Presents Major League Baseball with a Super NES. Could be a hybrid, Scully. Here I So hey, speaking of the 90s, well, Ken Griffey Jr. was probably the best baseball player of the 90s. And he was so cool, too. Like, every kid in the 90s wanted to be like Griffey. Dude was so cool. His swing was so pretty. I just, I look at it and I thought it was just beautiful. As a friend! Anyway, corporate America made sure to give us kids lots of Griffey crap to buy, too. Shoes, video games, actually that's all I can remember. Shoes and video games. And looking back, that's... That's pretty reasonable. I'll tell you what though, if you're expecting reasonable from this game, where are you barking up the wrong alien pod? I'm telling you, this game's ridiculous. Everything happens like six times faster than it would on Earth, at least. And it starts with the pitchers. I mean, here on Earth, baseballs can't move like that. On Kepler-186F, maybe, but not on Earth. And I mean, I like arcade baseball games, right? I, I Normally, I'd be fine with that. But these extraterrestrial pitchers, they throw so fast, I actually had to swing before they even let go of the ball. Which is like, I, I mean, that's this close to time travel baseball. Like, I'm swinging at a pitch that doesn't even exist yet. So when you translate all that back to Earth language, what all that means is that scoring runs in this thing is f***ing impossible. Because hitting is impossible. And when you do hit the ball, oh, holy crap! The other team takes advantage of their alien DNA, and they screw you in all kinds of creative ways. They can jump nine feet in the air to make catches. Oh, that's awesome. Boy, this is fun. I love how my runners don't know when to run. Boy, that makes scoring real easy. I guess they don't understand what it means to tag up on the, the Keplorians. Well, actually, to be fair, the AI in this game is terrible on both teams. Your guys just, they decide to run on Pop Flies, which is great. And the computer's even worse. They'll hit these lasers into the gap, or into one of the outfield corners, and then they stop at one base. Like, all the time. And it's not just the batter, either. It's also the runners. Gap shot to the wall? Nah, let's stop at second. Why not? I mean, look, either they're still learning the rules of baseball, or they're playing on a whole different level. Like, they're so confident, they're just trying to f*** with me, instead of actually scoring. And I got news for you. They're doing one hell of a job! But then again, maybe they're not running, because they don't want to test the gravity on this strange land. Like, look at this. I drive this ball into the corner, so obviously I'm going to send my runner home. And I do that before the right fielder even picks up the ball. But then, a, a dude unloads this goddamn laser beam, and he throws me out. And, it, and look, it wasn't even that close. How are you supposed to score here? You tell me! What, is, is this whole game just a ruse? A tiny plastic ruse from outer space? Plan 9. This is, this is Plan Griffey! it would make sense if, if these were aliens because they all have made up names. Remember Scabies? Remember that guy? Well, check this out because the New York Mets have apparently signed both Sid Vicious and Johnny Rotten to major league contracts. By the way, reports indicate that they've been a, they've been a big help to the offense too. At least that's what their first baseman said. You know, Billy Idol. You guys, you guys think I'm making this up? I don't make up anything I ever say. Look, I'll say this. This game at least looks good. Like the presentation, the sound, that stuff, that's all perfectly fine. In fact, I really like the player sprites, especially when they're at bat. I mean, these guys are like, they're like comically jacked, these guys. Kind of like real baseball players in the 90s. And the mechanics are fine too, but none of that really matters, because unless you can manually slow down time with your mind, you're not going to score any runs. And that's the worst. Not scoring, that's, that's just the worst. As a case study in extraterrestrial physics, this is pretty groundbreaking stuff. But as a playable game of baseball, I don't know, man. Those eyes are... 
Those eyes are hiding something, if you ask me. It's that presents Major League Baseball. Thank God for automatic fielding, huh? And thanks to Chris from Jersey City, New Jersey as well for sending it to the show. If that is indeed your real name, Chris.